Hi, this is Jennifer from Platinum Skin Care, and today I want to talk about chemical peels and which percentage you should be choosing. Okay, what percentage of acid should you choose? If you're a beginner, no matter what, always choose the lowest percentage possible. You don't know what to expect, you want to start slow and work your way up from there. No harm ever came from somebody applying too low of a percentage of appeal. You might not get visible flaking, you might not get the results that you were hoping for, but you're still going to get something. So starting low and working your way up, that's the only way. Now with the chemical peel, it is not a race to the top. Matter of fact, it is the absolute opposite. The turtle wins this race. You want to be slow and steady. Work your way up the steps of that ladder very, very slowly. Because when you reach the top, there's nowhere else to go. You can try another acid. You can, you know, pop on over, try a different acid. And that's fine. And that's what you're going to have to do. That's what people end up doing when, you know, they reach the top of glycolic. Oh, I'm going to try this acid. I'm going to try this one. Keep your skin guessing. That's how you're always going to get good results. But just basically start low, work your way to the top, and you're going to be happier and you're going to get better longer term results that way. The only exception to that rule is if you've been getting professional treatments. If you've been going to the dermatologist and you know that they're doing a 15% TCA on you at two layers and that works amazing for you, well absolutely. Go ahead and apply 15 TCA at two layers and get your same amazing results without the you know, the high fee of going to the office. That's perfectly fine. But if you're a newbie, you start at the low level and work your way up. I'm gonna tell you about the acids that we manufacture here and what percentages and which one you should start with and, you know, work your way up to, okay? So our first acid I wanna talk about is our glycolic acid. Glycolic is good for most people. It is a water-soluble acid, has a tiny molecule. It is the original lunchtime peel. This is the peel that started the whole craze where people really started catching on that you could go in, get just you know a 30 minute treatment, come out and your skin's just gonna look better for it in the end. That's what started this. People started realizing chemical peels are gonna change my life. And they are. So there's a few percentages here. We always want you to start at a 30%. 30% is great for most people. It has a nice pH level of 2.1, so you're gonna get a lot of action with less irritation than you could possibly get. Um, this is commonly used for fine lines, maybe some mild, mild photo damage or skin pigmentation, or also, you know, maybe a little bit of mild acne, um, but I think it's predominantly for anti-aging, light wrinkles, things of that nature. Start with your 30. The next step is a 50%. You're not going to want to move to a 50% until you've been using that 30% for quite a while and you feel like, yeah, I just need a little bit more. And that's okay. And most likely you're going to do a series of eight. And by the end of that series of eight, you can decide if 30 is not enough for you and you want to move up to the 50. If that's the case, go right ahead. The next percentage in our glycolic peels is 70. And that is not meant for your face full strength. Just stop right here. 70% is predominantly for your body. You can put 70% on straight on your body. Uh, arms, legs are common places, sometimes on the chest, but be careful with that area. It can be a little bit more sensitive. But the whole idea behind this higher percentage is because the skin on your body is much, much thicker than the skin on your face. So yeah, you can put a higher percentage on your body. The other use for our 70% is where you can custom dilute it to any percent you like. You can make a 10, a 15, 20, 25, all the way up to 65%. And that works well for many people that want to start off at one percentage and then gradually work their way up. That's a nice customizable peel that anybody can use as long as you're going to promise me that you don't put 70 on straight. Now the next acid I want to talk about is salicylic. And here's a salicylic peel. Now salicylic is, is predominantly used for acne and oily skin. 
It can be used for photo damaged skin, but it's a secondary option. This is an amazing, amazing acid. It's oil soluble, which means it digs deep into your pores and it's attracted to oil. So it helps to clean out all the debris and all the garbage and gunk in there. Well, this comes in three different percentages. We have a 3%, which is amazing for tweens, preteens, even adults. You know, with the, your preteen and your teen, they like to use this like maybe once a week or twice a week to control some of the pesky acne that get on their forehead and their noses. It's very, very helpful. And for some adults that have much more problematic acne, they like to use this 3% just as a leave-on toner. And that's perfectly fine. It can be drying if you're using it continuously, so always monitor that. Now the next percent is 15%. A normal adult person is going to start with a salicylic 15. It has got a bite to it. It's a bit more potent than a glycolic acid peel. It works amazingly. You're going to get a little bit more flaking with, um, with the salicylic and that's perfectly fine. It's a great peel. Start at the 15. Most people stay with a 15, I'll be honest. They'll stay with the 15 and they'll use that for you know a series of eight. They'll go on 16 peels later. They're still happy with that 15. But if you're someone where you've, you've reached a plateau and you really wanna get some more aggressive peeling going on, then go ahead and move up to our next percentage, which is the 25%. It's definitely more intense than the 15, but you're gonna get more flaking, you're gonna get more pores cleared out. It's amazing for acne. It's gonna be perfect for you. The next one we have here is our mandelic acid. Mandelic is one of my very, very, very favorites because it is good for everybody. It's good for pigmentation, it's good for wrinkles, it's excellent for acne, photo damage. It's like glycolic acid, it's good for everything plus acne and it's actually less irritating than glycolic. So this is another great peel for tweens and teens and of course adults because like this is this is one of my very very favorite peels this is the kind of peel I would do on a weekly basis now we have this in two percentages we have our 22 which is actually a combination of mandelic acid and azelaic acid I could put this on my 12 year old daughter without a problem she says it feels eh, a little bit tingly a little bit itchy it's fine I leave it on her five ten minutes rinse it off and she gets just the tiniest little amount of flaking so this is a very good peel weekly where if you have to go to work and you don't want your face falling off, this is a great acid to use. Now, if you've been using the 22 for a while, our next step up is our 40. And the 40 is just straight mandelic acid and you're not actually gonna notice much more irritation. That's the natural progression. As you move up in percentage, you're gonna get more flaking. That's expected, that's what you want, but always start with that lowest percentage to see where you want to be, what's comfortable with your life. The next acid I want to talk about is lactic acid. Now lactic is for those that have dry skin and sensitive skin, aging skin, dealing with some pigmentation and some fine lines. Lactic is an excellent acid for you. And why it's the acid for you is because lactic is hygroscopic. And what that means is it pulls moisture. It pulls moisture to your skin. And even though you're doing a peel, and a peel can be drying temporarily, when, you know, as it dries the dead skin on the outside and it flakes off, that's the nature of a peel, you're dried temporarily, but once that skin comes off, you are so much more moisturized. So the lactic is gonna constantly keep your skin more moisturized. You could do that peel once a week forever and your skin's gonna be nice and smooth, it's gonna help with your pigmentation, soften any fine lines, and it doesn't matter how sensitive you are, I think pretty much everybody can stand to put this peel on for a few minutes. Two minutes to 10 minutes is perfect. The next acid I wanna talk about is my other favorite acid, and that's our TCA peel. Now TCA is good for everybody as well. It's good for every skin type, every skin color, it's used for acne, it's used for fine lines, it's used for deeper lines. Pigmentation is really good for pigmentation. It is also, it is the super anti-aging peel. TCA is the anti-aging peel. And that is because it has been proven in studies that TCA stimulates collagen and elastin formation in your skin. 
your skin will be tighter and firmer from using a TCA peel. So this is actually probably the number one peel we sell. And for good reason. It works, it does exactly what I say it's gonna do, and it's certified. So let's talk. There's three percentages of TCA, and people get confused. They always wanna rush to that second percentage, but please start with a 13. With TCA, the percentage isn't necessarily the most important factor as to how much flaking you're gonna get. The most important factor is how many layers you apply or how much solution you apply. So, what we wanna do is put more layers of a 13 on. So you can go up to five layers. And I'm just, just real quick how you do that is you apply your first layer. Let's say this is your very first time. You're gonna do one layer of TCA 13. You're gonna wait five minutes. Rinse it off and you're done. In three to five days, you're gonna notice your skin gets dry. You're gonna get some flaking. It's amazing. And next week, do it again. Now, let's say you want it to be a deeper peel next time. Oh, I wanna do two layers next time. It's so simple. Apply your first layer. Do, 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 do. Wait five minutes. Now, apply your second layer. Five more minutes and then rinse and go on. Now you're gonna get more flaking this time. Now think about that, just in five minute increments, you go all the way up to five layers of, boy, that's a lot of peeling because it's five layers of acid. And each time you apply a layer, it goes deeper and deeper and deeper into your skin. I mean, what do you think is stronger? Five layers of a 13 or one layer of a 20. They're pretty much equal. But it is always safer for every single skin type and skin color to apply more layers of a lesser percentage. Let's say you've been applying TCA 13 at five layers and you're like, I just want more. That's fine. Now you are the person that can move up and start with one layer of TCA 20. Work your way up from there. And most likely you're not gonna get past two layers maybe three layers, I guarantee you, you're gonna go nowhere near four or five layers. That'll just be the end of it. You'll be doing one or two layers of a 20. We do carry a TCA 30, and this is along the same lines of our 70. You are never, ever, ever supposed to put that 30 on your face full strength. Just stop. No. 30% is for your body, or it is to be custom diluted to whatever percentage you like. Just like with the glycolic 70, we can make a 10, 15, 20, 25%, whatever you need for your particular issue that you're targeting. If you're targeting a mole, yeah sure, you can put the 30% straight on that mole. But if you're gonna put that on your face, you obviously wanna put a lower percentage. Simple. Start with a 13. I've stayed at the 13 for years. I put two to three layers on and that is enough for me. So. Don't race to the top. Now, the next peel I wanna talk about is Jesner's peel. Now, Jesner's is, this is an acne peel. This is, a, this is used very, very commonly in spas and dermatologist offices. It's a very predictable peel. It's a layerable peel, so you can make it milder, you can make it stronger, depending on how many layers you put on. What it is, is a traditional Jesner's, which is the only kind that we make, is a combination of lactic acid, salicylic acid, and resource and all. And its strength really kind of comes from the chemical combination of the three. The resource and all mixing with the other two acids makes a very nice action for your face. So same thing, one layer, two layer, three layer, you work your way up to five layers. It's simple. Jesner's works amazingly for some people, and it doesn't work at all for other people. So kind of test and see what works best for you. If you've been going to the salon and they've been doing Jesners on you and you love it, then use the Jesners. Ours is gonna be exactly the same. Now the last peel I wanna talk about is our progressive peel. And this is actually a four step peel. I'm gonna try to hold all these up. We have step one, two, three, and four. And what this is, this is a combination of TCA and Jesner's. 
and people love to layer TCA and Jesners. They want to make their TCA stronger or their Jesners stronger. So what they do is first apply Jesners, which is step one. Second, apply TCA, step two. Three, apply a stronger TCA, step three. And then four, after we rinse it all off, we have a super high potency vitamin A, which is our 0.50% vitamin A cream. So now we're combining Jesners plus TCA plus vitamin A. This is exactly what a lot of people are looking for. This is amazing for everybody. It comes in only one percentage, basically, because you've got three different acids that you're going to layer. And it's very simple. It's just a matter of how strong you want it to be is how many layers of each acid you apply. That's all in your direction sheet. It's super simple. If you're looking for a combination acid peel, you want to get some really good results for your fine lines and wrinkles, acne, pigmentation, this is a great acid to choose. Now let's sum this up. No matter what acid we're looking at, if you are a beginner, always start with the lowest percentage. Take your time. Remember, the turtle runs this race. The hair loses because you don't want to reach the top of the ladder. You want to take your time and let these acids work for you for a long time. I'll be back with more peel information to help you along your transformation. I'll talk to you again soon. Have a wonderful afternoon. Bye.